Yeah, and he has a crop top. A red crop top and nothing else. Uh, have you, anyone uh, here seen Robot Chicken? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Has anyone here seen Robot Chicken? Yes. Um, there's, there's a scene where it's like, oh yeah, Winnie the Pooh in real life. It's just like this uh, grizzly bear and some guy goes up to it for He just rips his head off. I can see that. Are we rolling? <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to Movie Squad. All right, hey, 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 hey. Movie Squad back in the house, and sorry for that conversation, but um, you know, hey, James Jump is back. Hi. I'm back for my sabbatical. They kicked me off the show for a few weeks to like learn my lesson. Yeah. No, we didn't. And um, you know, for legal reasons, James Jump couldn't be in the last three episodes. Sorry. That's true. It is for legal reasons he's been barred. But <laughs> he brought a friend with him because uh, Matt Sloan is one out with us today. Uh, so he brought a filmmaker in the house on Movie Squad. Kind of not, yet. Let, not yet. Not yet. You let me okay. introduce. Sorry, I'll Sorry. guess. Oh, well, we've got two Connor directors. Bailey. Connor oh, Bailey. Now, Connor see, Bailey. Look at that. Now it dropped like a lead balloon because you interrupted, bro. Oh. But that's all good. I'm sorry. Oh, well. It's so okay. anybody who follows James Jump outside of here, I don't know why you would. <laughs> but uh, James uh, Jump has been in the acting world um, and everything. And that's basically because he has his own Scorsese friend, um, you know. Better than Scorsese. Whoa. Okay. Now we're going back to the film don't, because once you said better because we, we, we will have plugged your film. That's why when the Beatles said it, they were bigger I, than Jesus. The thing, yeah. is, I, Whoa. the thing is, I could make a taxi driver. Scorsese could never make a Pringle. Actually, that's kind of true. That is true because he would not want to. But either way, because <laughs> he wouldn't you, want to. I would have to just say there's a scene in Pringle that you have to see, and so we've given you enough time uh, to, <laughs> you know what I mean. But kind of barely. Um, what is your company called? Fire Pit, Fire Pit Productions. Fire Pit. <laughs> fire, like pit <laughs> fire Pit <laughs> Productions. <laughs> Fire, 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 fire pit productions, you know, um, and everything like that. So either way, is thank you for joining us here today to fill in our fourth seat and everything. But obviously, um, what we wanted to do was do something completely new. And we wanted to look at the hottest movie out now. Uh, finally, after a long wait of Marvel films, we have an original film being made at Marvel what? Studios, believe it or not. And that's Shang-Chi and the Legend of Woo! Ten Rings. Shang-Chi. Okay, um, Shang-Chi, before we actually get into the Shang-Chi. podcast, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> All we want to do is kung fu fight. Shang-Chi. Not, not, not yet, girl. Not yet. Not, <laughs> not yet. Not, not yet. It's, it's, it's my top three, definitely. Of all Marvel time, films. Of, all, of all of all time, yeah, of no, all Marvel he means movies. of all Marvel, of all Marvel movies, it's definitely one of the it's, best. It's wait, moved up the list. Yes, thing is, when you say Marvel movies, you mean MCU movies or yes, okay, MCU movies. Because obviously Marvel is like you got the Raimi films. Yeah, shut up, <laughs> Hannah, oh, wow. the goat. No. Yeah. Hannah, shut up. No. Um, no. So, um, <laughs> what's one of the best originals? Um, I'm finally, I'm, I'm so glad to see like not. Avengers movie here, collab movie here, collab movie here, Black Widow was delayed. Crappy prequel. Crappy prequel here. Yeah, yeah um, Cape Shit. And Everywhere. it was really fun, Cape Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't feel like a superhero movie. No, yeah, that's what I mean. No, well, it felt, did it feel like a like, uh, Asian Wushu movie as yeah. it should have? Like a Krausen Tiger? Uh, the first two thirds. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Aquafina, obviously. Um, unfortunately, I hope that people don't want to see it because they think that that's what they're going to see. And they don't avoid it because they think that that's what they're going to see. As far as Crouch and Tiger, because when you look at the trailers and everything, you know, people thinking, oh, Asian films, it's like if it's just the only one thing that identifies the Asian film. And what I like is, is that Simu Liu is, is, is playing like a realistic, cool character with a great backstory and everything. And it's not about... Mm, I don't want to say it's not about his Asianness. It's kind of like I would say it's not about his blackness with a uh, uh, Black Panther, but it's an actual character. It's actual hero, and it's actual great story that is where we break down the plot and um, stuff. Can we confirm something here? Is it actually banned in China? Because I've because um, I was told that it was banned in China. If it was, Why that would, would be, be huge news because, because that's like one of the biggest markets. Initially, initially it was banned in China before it came out. Uh, because I'm generally before it that. came out. But I heard because when we talk about how much it's making so far, right, is that I heard that it's playing in Korea right now. Uh, Korea, so, so it's set in areas like banned, maybe. Because well, well, China is still yeah, about you know. Because the lead actor, um, he spoke up about the CCP. So they're a bit iffy, and it doesn't really show values of China, and it's you know it's China's so awkward. Yeah, China yeah, yeah. China, yeah. why are you gonna be like that? Huh? I swear, on jungle, like Jungle Cruise, it's very, very. Remember Jungle Cruise? Anyone seen that yet? Yeah, because I one of the characters, because one of the characters, a gay, they're like on a stepping stone with China. 
so they can not. Yeah, like they're very obscure about it. They're like, my interests are elsewhere. I whispered to James in the film. I was like, oh, so he's a be- he's into bestiality then? Because you may as well interpret that Whoa. because is who into bestiality? Sorry, I haven't elaborated here. So Jungle Whoa. Cruise, there's yeah. a gay yeah. character. Yeah, they're, they're but okay. they don't really say he's gay. They just go, oh. In terms of relationships, my interest, interests are otherwhere. Otherwhere, otherwise, they could uh, have, elsewhere. Yeah. He yeah. could be into bestiality. Oh right, you wouldn't be able to tell. I oh, gotcha. They had to market it because I knew there was a reason why I didn't watch this movie. I just yeah. thought it was because of the rock. But, uh, <laughs> oh no, or because of the rock and uh and uh, is there a love scene between him and uh, Emily Blunt? No, but yeah, the, there is. Is there? Yeah, yeah. I can't <gasps> Towards the end, a is kissing there? scene. Yeah, a kissing scene oh, is not no, a love no. scene. This shows you how young Connor is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's two hours. It's two hours of just cliches. Well, I mean, it is a Disney movie, so I don't think they're gonna go but based on a Disney yeah. ride. Back to back to Shang Chi. I had oh, no yeah, clue what to expect. I had no. First of all, it's Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Why would you call yourself uh, Sean and be named yeah. Sean? <laughs> like, line for the movie. I, anyway. I, I love the casting. It like opened up of oh yeah, this epic warrior. You and now you're gonna like get my powers someday. Is where can I carve out like? Yeah, that was a good subversion. That I like yeah. that. <laughs> the car valley. Yeah, car valley. I mean, you the, lost me somewhere. The car, car valley. The, the car valley. Do you know when he's the valet? The valet. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But skipping forward a bit more, I think the introduction of Ten Rings. I I've not read the comics. Didn't read anything on it. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the Ten Rings in the comics. I yeah, mean, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a, a comic breakdown yeah. um, when we get into it. But um, what what. <laughs> oh, look who had their phone on in the podcast. Sorry, 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 sorry. He's banned for three weeks. I told somebody he's banned for yeah, Chase isn't going to be in the next three episodes now. Hi, <laughs> Chase. He's job, been banned. He's job, been barred. Job. Anyway, um, I did say that um, uh, the com- this does not follow the comics in any way, shape, or form. Oh? No. Is it his own thing? Yeah, this is okay. his own thing. So what's Be- the rings in the comics? So what, yeah, what is that? What, what? So the ten rings in the comics are the ten rings of the Mandarin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And everything. But it, this is their an organization. And we're going to go into it when we talk yeah. about, you know, Wenwu and the Mandarin kind of stuff um, and everything. But um, the comics has a whole different vibe because, one, the comics is from the 70s. Uh, Shang- Shang-Chi was uh, the master of Kung Fu based upon Bruce Lee. Right, so it was really let's give Bruce Lee a comic book and turn him into a superhero. Oh. So let's create this whole mythology and this storyline around that. So it's Bruce Lee walking around oh. in the red gi. So <laughs> Sean Chi, Bruce Lee, like R- Rambo. So this is not the comics at all. Uh, is it better than the comics? It's way better than the comics. Oh, <laughs> shit, that's excellent, but that's good. That's good. Yeah, but um, so the entire plot, the, I think the actors though, I think they were spot on for cast wise. Tony Leong is the villain. What a performance. First of all, first but Aquafina. <laughs> well, you know, I know that's she was already buzzing different. around the Disney studio because she's just finished being like. Oh, God, she was thingy. the. She was the dragon. She was she was Raya Sisu, and the yeah. dragon. Oh, my God. She's. You oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. She played yeah, oh, the dragon, yeah. So she, I reckon she probably walks out the studio and they were like, hey, <laughs> you. Do you want to be you're Chinese, you're Asian? Asian. <laughs> yeah, you're Chinese. You're Asian. Yeah, you. You're ours now. And she was like, okay, sure. And like. Well, you know, you know that Aquafina started out like us on YouTube. Wow. Well, not to say we're going to be picked up by Disney. Because Disney, maybe, please, please, Disney, maybe. live action I mean, Moana. Maybe, I can do it. Maybe you too, but not me. I'm getting sunk with the amount of stuff I've admitted on here. Um, no, I'm just trying to say that. Now you could definitely be Pinocchio, like or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. a real boy. Def- yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So anyway, um, so. You were talking about the beginning of the movie. Go ahead. So, um, so from the very beginning, what you want to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit it. So, what, what, the way they introduced it, I, I had no clue what to expect from it or what to do. Um, and it, it was ten a.m. by the way. So, I, I, I oh yeah, I, I woke up way early to see this movie. So my brain was switched off in the beginning. I was trying not to fall asleep. No, yeah, so I can't even lie. Me and James <laughs> are falling asleep at the end. In the first five of the minutes, round. Literally. So the movie squad went to the pictures together to watch this movie. Yeah, we did. And like you know, so here we were, like sitting in the movie at a t- at the first. At the first showing, you know, waiting for our producer Blake here to show up, and then he trips up the stairs. Sorry, Blake, <laughs> don't give me the finger. Give and me the ball. Popcorn goes <laughs> everywhere, literally, and it was glorious. It was yeah, amazing. It was glorious. And, and people were crunching on the popcorn. No, oh. So, so the beginning, so the beginning of the film. Says, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I didn't know what to expect though. Like I've said that like four times. Well, but, yeah. Like, do you know when it? Well, you up? expected an origin story. No, yeah, but then we're it's, talking about how original this movie is, right? You expected yeah. an origin story. It didn't start out. That and way. I, I loved how it like opened up of him. He get he's um, doing his press ups. Oh um, yeah, then, I like that bit then, too. And then this guy <laughs> goes out in a Lambo for oh, is he like some gonna be this dead rich guy? Oh, the guy <laughs> that steps up, yeah, and it turns into him, him, yeah. And it turns into a Ferris Bueller scene where like they steal the car, yeah, and everything just to but show how reckless they are. It was are. nice to see an actual origin story though again. Not, but who not, who who stepped out the car? That doesn't matter. Uh, it's probably it just matters some to me. Random millionaire or something. <laughs> yeah, some random millionaire. No, I mean, I mean, actor wise. Oh yeah, it's okay. Like I, I didn't know. I don't. I didn't know. Like, but it was fun. What I didn't expect this movie to be, I thought it was going to be like a seven. Dead yeah, the, the two seven. the two leads were really like charismatic and no, fun, yeah. which was great. Like they the had really great chemistry. The trail did not do this film justice. I'm saying that now. Well, True. well, well, it did in the sense where like it one, it didn't let you know what the movie was, which a lot of trailers do too much of, right? But mm. I will admit that because I was a comic reader, I was going down so many different theory avenues that were all wrong, <laughs> and everything. So I was just looking at the movie like this. You know, because I just didn't know what to expect next. And I think that's what we're missing in movies nowadays. We always know what's going to happen. And I think that's one of the thrill rides of this film is like, you don't know what to expect next. Yeah. But this is spoilers review, so we've already said that and everything. So we, we get to set up of these two friends that known each other for at least about like 10 years, uh, 10 years and everything. They're like, not really layabouts, but they don't have any ambition, right? Wait, yeah. Or they, or, or at least Katie well, doesn't have any no. ambition. Oh, well, they just really like cars. Well, and and karaoke, they like cars. Car- Living it up in Hotel California. That <laughs> oh, was a good ending, that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. yeah, and that was, but it also was the beginning for them because, like, when he was being bullied in school, as he as as he tells her uh, 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 mother, is is that <clears throat> fact of that, like, um, you know, she she kind of like intervened. Now, what's interesting for me there is is that Katie, which we which we don't really get and realize, but Katie thinks that he's a wimp. Yeah. Right. Because, like, obviously, when we see his backstory, he's he not fight, yeah. right. He was tra- he's a trained assassin, but he had to hide himself and everything. So when this guy was bullying him in school, he had to pretend to be like, oh, you know, yeah. um, going to get beat up. So she had to step in, and and he appreciated that fact that, that she did that for him, and that's what made them this. Why did they do person. a flashback to that? No, no she no, told the story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I they, was gonna say, I don't remember that. Asshole. Remember, I, remember the uh, the friends that they were talking yeah. to. Because that, like, day. like that's not even like cute kitty stuff. Like he was fourteen when he when he ran away. So that's high school. Yeah, yeah, so that that's scene where they're sort of explaining the backstory. Might be like one of the best scenes in the entire film. Yeah. To be honest, just because yeah. I think you get like an idea because obviously you saying before the film's not just about the fact that it's the Asian superhero. Yeah. But you get like a little bit of the sense of like a, a, an Asian family, like yeah. how they interact with each other and yeah. stuff like that. I think it's such a really natural scene, and it really gets you behind the characters as well. Probably top two scenes of the film, to be honest. You know, because I really like the line that the brother says. Yeah. Like the yeah. line that the brother says, yo, I mean, like, yo, uh, uh, um, and something like, oh, man, see, I didn't see the movie twice. He's a but mooch. something like, you know, yeah, he's a mooch. He's like, you mooch. know, and I, I knew that kind of guy. Not like it was me. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's just going to eat our food anyway and stuff yeah. like that. You know what I mean? But it, it's really established that. Yeah. And you wanted to... I know you couldn't see more of it because we go yeah. all the way into the fantastical, but it's something that we can look forward to, obviously, because of the relationship yeah. that we might see. And then the grandma you know, being like, oh, when, again. Are, when are you two going to get married? And he's like, we're just friends. And it's like, I really hope how long? Just be friends. I really for hope how there's long? more of that yeah. in a sequel, though. I think That's just a little more of the interaction between characters yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think uh, just stuff like that would be so amazing in a sequel. We, we get onto the bus scene soon. Yeah. Well, oh my god, that I think that's one of the top scenes. Now that we was, see the bus scene in, in the, the trailer. trailer, but the bus scene is way longer than you would think, you know, because what you're saying. And it comes out of nowhere as well, because I didn't expect him to be like some kung fu master. Same well, I, I thought he would be like training in that one, yeah. Yeah. Needed the Katie. That I know, because I thought that's what it was going to be. It was going to be like, oh yeah, some people are after this jewel. And it's like, oh my god, what? Like, like, oh, I'm gonna go and find my past, and it's gonna turn out I'm supposed to be this chosen one. But he already knew how to do kung fu. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Come, come <laughs> and the fact that he just had to hide it, yeah. right? He had yeah. to just act normal, right, and everything. So then, all of a sudden, when these guys go, hey, I want that pendant. So three guys show up on a bus. Well, <laughs> two guys walk up to uh, um, Sean one on guy a bus with no arm, and he, and he sees his mother's pendant. Like the full right, time. you know everything like that, you know, and then he's like, 
Mm. Yo, I want that pendant. Yeah. And he's like, what? What the? F- <laughs> Why? What do you, what do you want it? Then he what, realizes. Would you do, what would you do, James, if somebody says, hey, I want that? Well, it depends what it is. Okay, all right. What Sinead, if it's your wallet? If somebody, look, 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 right, look right, what Sinead's wearing. Right. Hey, 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 I want okay, that. Um, I'd be what? like, I'd be like, you can get it in Primark. Talk to the, talk, <laughs> talk to the hand. No, I don't. I'd be do like, so, oh yeah, so, they're so, selling so, for like two quid in Primark. So, Sinead, that means this is not your Shang Chi. Actually, but, actually, <laughs> I'll do the five finger death punch and go. Yeah, right. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so no, I mean, if it was like a force, well, I mean, obviously, his meant something to him because, like, it was like his mom gave it him, but he obviously he didn't know the significance. No, of what but it's it was. just like you know, somebody just says, "Hey, I want something." Yours. I was scared well, that like, was going to be like a plot like, device. No, I'd be like, hell no, go away. Like a massive. I, I was scared that was going to be like the entire plot of the film from getting this back, and I'm so glad it wasn't. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so the fighting begins. Um, before we get into that, can we appreciate the soundtrack? Ah, yeah, you know what it reminded me of in terms of Western films that sort of have Chinese like culture in it. Kung Fu Panda the soundtrack <laughs> very much gave me Kung Fu Panda nostalgia. It gave you Jack Black, yeah. <laughs> like Kung Fu Panda is one of the best animated films. The, the yeah, soundtrack yeah, it, just, it just gave me nostalgia for that. It was no, like no, that no, kind no. of. I feel like, like every time a Western thing tries to do something from the east, they just think Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda, we're doing it right. Ding, 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 ding. Well, the nostalgia was there for it, so yeah, yeah, it was a win for me. So anyway, so the fighting begins. The choreography for that fight, great. The both. Now, I was saying, I was saying to you guys is that Simu Lu, who is actually like a Canadian, right? But he is a TV actor, and he's on that show Kim's Kim's Convenience, which is on Netflix. Oh, I, I'm on like episode two of that. Yeah. Well, that's that's where Simu comes from. But he he, as usual, you know, like um, he doesn't know like kung fu, but like uh, Asians are asked to play kung fu fighters always, right? So he had to be trained for this movie and everything. But they had the time to train him, not like uh, Daniel Rand and uh, Iron Fist. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. If that's training just recent, that's some damn good fight. It's fighting. beautiful. Do you it's know what I mean? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. There was some kung fu fighting. His fists were fast as lightning. For, for an American blockbuster, go that's like some of the best like choreography I've seen. I'd say, I'd say that and Tenet have some of the best choreography I've yeah. seen. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also it had a very Jackie Chan style to it too. Yes. The way you had to go and in and out of the bus. The bus was splitting in half and also. I, I, mean. I love bus And fights. that guy was filming it. He was a... Uh, well, oh, the, the, the I streamer. I was going to talk about him. His name is Zach Cherry, right? And he <laughs> was the guy who was in uh, Far From Home. Don't you yeah. remember? Oh, shit. He was the guy who was like down on the street. I think it was Far From oh, Home yeah. or no, Homecoming. Homecoming, yeah, yeah. Where he's like, hi, Yeah, yeah. Do the flips. Is he going to be the new cameo instead of he Stanley? Should be <laughs> because I had a rumor they were going to make it Deadpool. Because that's what I was thinking. You know, I was thinking about this because obviously you know how like not not sorry to come away from Shang Chi. You know, you've got like the multiverse and madness and all that coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. The end of Deadpool too. He gets that weird book, doesn't he? Is that how they're going to link like the X Men universe with them? Perhaps. Well, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah. Because I know Ryan Reynolds is pushing for a buddy film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spider Man. Oh, well, well, I mean, it's it's big in the comedy. It's not gonna happen. Because but but um, so Zach is doing the comedy. He said, "Look, I don't do kung fu myself, but I oh, he, I think he says he does do fighting. But so he said he's gonna do the commentary. But I mean, what we're not into tangible media anymore. But I mean, I could see that as was seen um on a on a DVD where he's doing the uh, uh, commentary to the fight because that would be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, and a Deadpool commentary <laughs> video. No, he, yeah. well, no, not Deadpool. The the Shang Chi fight on the bus. Oh, I'm talking about the fight on the bus when he's doing the commentary, right? You know, they had to cut cut away to the fight. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that that would be on one of those special feature scenes. I hope so. I hope and so. everything. But so anyway, so the guy, the big guy, right now, he's from the comics, right? The one arm guy. The one arm guy with the sword arm is called Razor Fist. Razor right Fist. now, now they should have actually said name dropped them. They didn't, but they name dropped them when they drove the car, the car through yeah. the forest. That yeah. <laughs> Razor, so that's him. That was his car. That's why he's like my car. But anyway, he's from the comics, even though he had like a, a mask and a big ponytail and stuff like that. Cool. But like um, that, he was awesome. You know what cool. you think about Razor Fist? He was very cool and and very uh, Scandinavian. Was he Scandinavian? Well, I think he was something. What I think character wise, he wasn't too interesting. He was cool he as was a like, fighter, but he, he wasn't like yeah, anything well, too did, interesting. I, like I think he might have been a real fighter in a way because he didn't have a lot of dialogue, did he? It's like yeah. the brute you gotta have in every movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the, the same the, as the, the one. The even though, one. even though, even though, even though it's a good uh, crossbones. The only the masked one in the film. 
the one who sort of oh, yeah, did that, hits the Dev Dealer. Yeah. 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 They don't really he's do much with him, really. It's just they yeah. just yeah. like he's just the first. Oh, wait, well, we no, he, he's so, also another. He's also another character from the comics. Like but a PTSD bringer for Shang Chi. Yeah, but it's just they didn't really resolve much. With yeah. Him. Well, he he's another character from the comics. But what I did like was it was a really good you know sword play because you got to imagine how much of that is CGI. You know, like when they're actually on the yeah. tight space of the bus, to swing that sword around and to do all of that. But that was really all cool. And then it turns into speed. Yeah, right? yeah. It literally it turns yeah. into yeah. we get that's out the speed whole, moment. That's what I was thinking. But the whole I mean, time I mean, I mean, when the the did the bus driver get hit by something? Speed and then by the, a when, when, when bus driver falls over, and first Shang takes over riding the bus, and then 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 Aquafina does. But it was just it just really literally turned into speed. That was catastrophic. Yeah. The amount of cars and people could have died then. Car- well, yeah, car yeah car it's, it's, it's any, any old car chase though, bro. Right? It's any yeah. old car chase. The way she propped herself up against the mail van and like. Used all the park cars to stop as well because yeah, she had no brakes. And then, and that's what she says: "We make a good team." Even though yeah. in the trailer looked like she was talking to Shang Chi on that one, but it's like it's uh, cool. But now that that what, what do you call them things? Like when the buses are extended, so you had that thing, that accordion Wee. thing in the middle. Which the, you know yeah. the bus, the two. It was like two buses. Yeah. I'm so sure. so so when so when oh, yeah. Razor Fist was like you know slicing everything, and then Shang Chi had to cool. like you know get everybody to the front of the bus, yeah. and then to jump oh, the stunt. Man, was it was just phenomenal. Was, uh, now oh, yeah. I will take this time to point out that Blake wanted to mention that you know um, the cinematographer was Bill Pope. Right, who's like a big famous cinematographer who does like big movies like from Matrix and all that other kind of stuff. So that's again another quality to this film that I mean, like Destin, what's his name? Destin Daniel Cretton. Destin yeah. Daniel Cretton. Daniel you know, uh, it has has been shooting <laughs> has been shooting a lot of like different films. A lot of them with um, Brie Larson. Yeah, you know, he did Just Mercy with um, 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 Michael B. Jordan. But this was like his big action, yeah. you know, film. So it's kind of like it's really good the way they get a like a real. He's really good <clears throat> emotionally with his his actors, and and Marvel. If you had to say what is the Marvel way, it would be stunts. Yeah, leave the stunts to us. <laughs> you yeah. worry about the close up stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so and everything. So they had a really good cinematographer, and that bus scene shows it. It was just so crazy. to skip forward a bit. They've you know. Had the conflict, he's gonna find his sister now. The, the medallion, he doesn't know about this. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. The medallion's been stolen. He thinks he knows where his sister is. He's been sent a postcard. Um, this scene, I kind of felt cheated out of thinking we were gonna get an abomination, yeah, scene. All the longer yeah. than a minute. That was <laughs> cool, though. The it fact that cool. like the Wong and abomination, like, that had this friendship. Cool. I think was, that's cool. Was, yeah, it, they, was, they, it, was, it was a bit of a stunt. They were rigging and, flight and, fights. That was the trailer best bait, part. <laughs> yeah, it was trailer, trailer bait. bait. It yeah. was trailer bait. Yes, I mean, so basically, so they go they go to San Francisco to find a sister because he's worried now that, like, because uh, Razor Fish got his pendant, so he knows his sister has the other one, right? It's like two eyes of the dragon needs pendant. So he goes to this uh, place, and he finds out that it's an underground fight club at the top of a, a, a tower that's being constructed. So we've gone from speed to fight club. <laughs> Pretty much, I, very good. No, but I, I love, uh, the, yeah. I love the though, like the little feisty online cages. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but they well, could the have cages were like little bird cages. I reckon like, on a like, second. Yeah. So we're watching this like literally the moment we've done this. We're running to the cinema, um, and I reckon on second watch there's gonna be a few Easter eggs in the background for them cages and all that. I reckon if you look closely, you think so? I reckon. Yeah. I thought there was gonna you know, be more you cameos. Know, you know, Kevin like, Smith did. I'm uh, not Kevin Smith. Uh, Kevin Feige uh, did say that there is a visual Easter egg in the film. And everything, so I would I would encourage you to look. For I think well. it would be during the uh, you know when they go to the village, the, the secret village. Oh, that's oh, right, the nice. Tower of yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I hope it's Kung Lung, really. It should be Kung Lung. Why didn't? It? All right, I'll get to that. <laughs> anyway, let's move on because you guys got. All right, so anyway, so they're in the Fight Club, and he's looking for his uh, his sister, and like uh, the the um, the Asian actor is named John John, and he's like a known Asian actor. I think he was in. Crazy rich Asians or something like that, but anyway, he's the one leading them around, and he said, "Yeah, yeah, you got to fight and everything. We got to put you in there." And I don't know who this Shao Lao person, Shao Ling person, you're looking for, and everything. And it turns out that Shao Ling is his sister who he has to fight because <coughs> now, now we must have seen by now that we see the backstory 
No, we haven't seen the backstory yet about no. him leaving but her yet. No. The backstory is yeah. like for, for such a not short film, but you know, such a film that's got a certain time slot to do anything. It's not a perfect way of describing this backstory. With well, they plan. split. They split yeah. it up, and, they and didn't it's do perfect. It. Yeah, I think it's absolutely perfect. It reminded me of Captain Marvel, I think, because they. Like Captain Marvel, obviously not oh, as yeah, good, you're right, you're right, but no. Captain Marvel reveals backstory throughout the film. As yeah, yeah, I loved it, and that was the perfect way to. That's the best way to do a origin a story. story. Yeah, please, that's the best one. Yeah, well, yeah, learn from it because it's like I mean, I mean, some people did feel that it went on a bit long, you know, no. because like when the father, you know, you know, was training him and stuff like that. I like, I love the montage scene and train up and his sister train in the shadows. I thought oh, that was cool. Yeah. That, that was really good. That yeah. was yeah. such a cool scene yeah. and seeing like them they're like growing apart ever since their yeah. mother died. It's like so, so yeah. he's gonna face his sister off in the ring and everything. And now this is where I'm gonna tell you another thing from the comics. So in the comics, right, Shang-Chi didn't have a sister. He had a brother. Now, he did have many sisters because his father was like, Papa was a Rolling Stone. (laughs) But technically, he had a brother named Midnight, right? And like, uh, well, that was his name because he wore all black with a black mask and a fedora hat and everything. Mad cool and stuff. But they were bitter rivals. And I think that his sister, wearing all black, was taken over on that character side because he was a great, morally great you character. see the unseen credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was cool. Yeah, yeah. so was he was cool. a morally great character. So that fight scene, what do you think about that kind of that between him and his sister in the ring? Uh, honestly, it actually surprised me because I'm being honest, Iron Man 2, like when you look at, that was probably maybe the first female-led action scene with Black Widow. Mm, right. They're not the best, I think, with female yeah. action scenes because You're I think right. a lot of the times they're not as like willing to let women be hurt as men. In the action yeah. scenes, yeah, 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 yeah. But that one surprised me. I was like, "Oh, like this is brother versus sister." I'd expect maybe a lot of cuts, stuff like that. But I was like, "Oh, this might be nearly on par quality wise with the train." Obviously, there's less people, so it's obviously yeah. a lot shorter. But yeah. on quality, quality wise, I'd say it was about on par. It surprised me. It was very well shot, especially when she knocks yeah. him out. Get the <laughs> get, very funny. Get his ass out of the like. Yeah. Get, she, I can't believe she betted against it. That was a oh, good. No. That was a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that was, that was, she that provides was, that, was that needed one. comedic um, aspect for this movie needs. Yeah, and um, and we did kind of, we did kind of skip it and go back to it. It's like so with the Wong and Abomination fight, right? They're rigging it. They showed a uh, um, comic accurate Abomination with the fin ears. Yeah, but also too is is that when when Wong opened up the sling ring and they went inside, so In the they cell? said no, but yeah, because they said that like basically um, it was a fixed fight. And you know Wong, you know, really went and picked him up from the from the what did they call it? The bridge or the the the, the ark? No, not the ark. Uh, where they the raft? The raft, that's it. And everything, you know, um, you know, he pulled him out of there to do the fight. But it was kind of like you know, um, kind of like a fixed fight. But yeah. you know, it still was Wong the badass. What, what if it's like Suicide Squad? He gets time off his sentence if he does it. I well, like how like yeah. these fights like fully illegal dark web fights. Yeah, and yeah. then Wong, who's like friends with Doctor Strange, they're like meant to be like these lawful good characters. Well, no, Wong, yeah. Wong, Wong, so Wong, Wong, Wong has no money, man. <laughs> you know, and then Wong, Wong, just like, Wong couldn't even get a burger in the Avengers Infinity War. It's just it is quite funny to see a, a superhero use their powers for something that's just that's quite I mean, like self like serving. Yeah. Because you got Why Iron Man, who was this billionaire. You got Captain America, who's probably got loads of merchandise rights. But you, you, you <laughs> yeah. got, you, you've got like a, like a Hank, like a like a Scott, like, like fucking Ant Man. Yeah. Got, like the Ant Man is like this, like the Cold Stone. He's got a criminal record. Yeah. You don't see it as much in this good. But to Wong see. is probably like one of the more powerful characters in the whole like yeah. thing. Oh, well, and like well, he's just well, well, you know. Word has it, I mean, especially with with the end, end scene. I know we jump around a lot, but I mean, Wong is becoming like the new Coulson. Because, like, oh, you know, yeah. the way he picks up Shang-Chi, it's like, rumor has it, like, why will be just going around picking up everybody? Come Love on, he, he's got the best way of traveling with the slingery, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he's still one of the funnest characters. Well, hey, man, you know, no, exactly. So, anyway, so now, um, brother and sister, you know, they only reunited for a second because the death dealers show up. So, the guys with the white mask. And this was an awesome fight outside oh. on, on, on a tr- yep. um, scaffolding. And the League of Assassins show up. Wait, 
Ronald. Well, yeah, the League Ronald. of Assassins. No, Russell Gould comes here. It's a mortal man. <laughs> this was an amazing fight, you know, like on, on there, man, because it's like the huge stunts and everything. But it was kind of like, I was thinking, dude, why are you trying to get Aquafina to jump out the window with you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, and then you know, and then she's like hanging on. And it was like bamboo mm. in a way, you okay, know, because it was bending, another, wasn't it? Another yeah. great fight. With the, everyone swinging, yeah, on, swinging Elfran on the scaffolding. She's running. Yeah. She, um, so I love it when um, he, um, one of the assassins comes and she goes, such a lovely place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. That's a good payoff, that, to something they yeah, set up. No, I thought that was really exactly. funny. Just set up. But then it was also great that, like, so when she falls down, that the sister saves her because the sister's like, I just wanted my brother to, like, you know, no, suffer a little bit yeah. because of how he left her. You abandoned yeah. me. How does it feel? Yeah, how does it feel? Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, you know, and um, but I loved how she had instant chemistry with um Katie as well because yeah. it's kind of like you can see this, this it's gonna have like that sisterhood and like so it's like a love triangle but a sisterly or a familial yeah. love triangle. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like it's they, like they, he's, they, he's they, run away and spent his time with her women. as opposed to the sister. Well, well, he but left like, the sister behind and well, he yeah. found a sister. So he yeah. had a sister for like so like soul years. sister. So soul um, sister. let's yeah. skip up now. Yeah. The jig is up. The dad's back. He thinks he can bring the mother back. Bro's going mad. And he's well, like, he, doesn't, he doesn't he's, sound he's, like, he's like, I told my men that you'd never be able to kill you, even if they tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like I was routine. the good guy all along. Yeah, and 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 the thing about it is, so he's taking them to plays the mani- manipulative he, role. He's taking them to his place, but at this point. We could we can now reveal like the origin. So, uh, the father met the mother, you know, because the father went looking for this place and everything like that with the moving trees. Yeah, that was weird. No, that was phenomenal. That was cool. It was cool, about the but it was, weird. was fu- scary. I mean, the car going through the trees and the moving them. It was just like awesome and stuff. Like that. he gets out of the car just Ooh. in time. So we that went opening sequence where the the, the dad fights them up. The That's choreography right. there, you know, I I heard someone say like some of the dancing. best action scenes feel like dances, yeah. and like that one was great. That was a great start to the film. To be honest, cinematography yeah. as well, especially that slow motion shot where she's spinning him around yes. and and, and yeah. then he could see her and everything, and that comes back again. With um, I love the whole like, like aesthetic of it, like yeah. the colors and stuff like that. That shot that ends the opening sequence as well, where it's sort of like behind behind yeah. the trees and you're looking down on him. Uh, just, yeah, uh, that might be the best well sh- most well shot part in like maybe any Marvel film. It was also yeah. it's, it's also it's like that 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 wind versus you know the the I mean you know like you know the power of the wind whatever yeah. it is and, and all that so that was all magical it, so then so yeah so we have that backstory we have him <clears throat> you know having the children and everything and we have them you know he's training the son but the daughter had to train the we shadow. see the compound yeah. we see the compound again like how. I mean, I think at this point I'm morally gray on how I feel about the dad because I didn't know if Marvel was going to pull a 118 and be like, oh, he actually is a good guy or he is a bad guy. I just so, loved it how it didn't matter because what it was was his wife convinced him to be good, but then it was like, look what happened when I was. Yeah. You know, that they came to kill the wife and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, and he wasn't like, you know, I'm trying to be bad. It's like, I want revenge. And so he's taking out all of the people you know, you know that 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 killed the wife. You know, and then he asked the son to you know like finish off the last finish, finish it off. And then he tells so he tells Katie this is important because he tells Katie, "Did you do it?" And she's like, "Did you do it?" And he's like, uh, "No, no." Would well, you like the vegetarian <laughs> or the beef option? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, on the plane, yeah. right? That was a oh, bit. Oh, gonna put that. That, that was a bit forced. <laughs> it was quite a heavy scene, and then they're like, "Yeah, we don't have vegetarians." Like, <laughs> and it just yeah. made me hungry. I'm Thanks, like, Marvel. Wait a minute. If I was going to order a vegetarian, and you don't have food. vegetarian, why would I choose meat? I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> just take the meat off. <laughs> um, but so we see, like, you know, the compound. Yeah. Um, how you know he, the, the dad's like, "Yo, shut up, daughter. Go to your room." Um. If he's being still dismissive yeah, in the he, Chinese he's politics. He's like very patriarchal, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we see him like say, okay, with these dragon eyes, it's a message. And this beautiful like water scene. Oh my showing God. Showing the map. Yeah. That was, that was, that was, that was just amazing. Again, we see that in the trailer. Don't know what it's all about yeah. and everything. And, then and um, yeah, that was amazing. We, we have the obvious scene of we're not going to join you. We're good pretty much. Um, You're um, this we is preposterous. See, we finally see the dad's kind of true colors. Well, we saw him earlier, but now it's like kind of sealed in stone. Like, yeah, you're a dickhead. Um, 
But yeah. then, but then, then, then what happens is the best freaking reveal ever. <laughs> because then, like, he says, go back to your cells, right? And then, like, uh, oh. you know, the sister, like, breaks in. Okay, we're going to break ben out. Kingsley. But we, we hear oh. some Mandarin. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Before the Mandarin shows up, right, he, the father has to reveal about the fact that that what is this stupid name the Mandarin? Like I was called like the oh, Shadow yeah, King yeah, yeah, yeah. and all this other kind of stuff. And then the Americans believe in an orange. <laughs> then they think of an orange because the Mandarin orange yeah. and stuff like that. But then that's when it's revealed that when he captured him at Hell the King, the Marvel one shot, that Trevor Sattery is still alive. Love and it. stuff like that. Acting. And he's loving he's Liverpool. still alive and acting. And he's oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Liverpool. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> and he, and he wait, had the wait, scarf wait. in the corner. For me, up in it the felt corner. awesome when we were in the theater, and he said that because we were in the Liverpool theater. With, with, how oh, the co- it was a nice community. Everyone just started laughing. Everyone just burst. Yeah, out. it was the same yeah. with Bro- when I saw it in Bromborough as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it felt quite nice. Everyone just burst out. Like, yes, I, I mean, you see, you see the flag. From, he was always yeah. from Liverpool, yeah. but it was just that when he said it. it, it yeah, yeah. and room. you see him like, oh yeah, I feel like a jester, Banquo, Banquo, and he's like, he's going mad, and I love him, and then he's like, it's little fucking. Elephant, what did, what did baby. They call it? Um, oh my god, that uh, thing. Uh, 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 the pig, the nesting, the, the average Morris, nesting Morris, that came in. Morris. Um, Morris thank I think you that was meant to be Morris. Boris, but like they couldn't get, I, like they weren't, they weren't allowed. I, I loved him. <laughs> my favourite part was when he was he like. like a butt. And you know, like from, from, from like the Doom Patrol. And he was like, oh my God, you can see him too. I thought I'd just gone mad. <laughs> 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 it's funny. It's like all the time he's probably talking to him. And then he didn't realize, oh wow, you can see him too. But then the way he could communicate with him. So it's like, you know, well, he knows how to get there. And everything. Mar- like, Morris what? says yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take us both. So now they're all heading out in Razor Fist's car. Through the forest oh, yeah. and everything, and and the, and, the and Trevor forest. is 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 is, is uh, interpreting, interpreting for Morris. No, and he's he's like, we could be here forever. Morris said, you can go. What? Yeah. Morris said, you can <laughs> go. You can go now. <laughs> yeah, turn left, turn right. You know. But then, what? Was, oh, wait, 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 wait. What about the Planet of the Apes story? Oh, <laughs> how we became an actor? <laughs> how can those apes ride horses? How could they ride horses? <laughs> oh, they're well. acting. Oh, those apes are acting. Amazing. <laughs> I'm acting too. That. Average person <laughs> from Liverpool. And then, then it's, it's songs like, uh, uh, "You believe that the monkeys ride horses?" <laughs> no, they were acting. No, no they were acting <laughs> as if they were riding horses. <laughs> well, so you're telling me that you got Andy? Best ever. You're telling me to turn Andy Circus into a ape for the recent part of the eight movies. No, that was what? he was in the nineteen nineteen. No, the new ones. No, he's talking no, about the scene. in the uh, new ones. Did they actually turn him into an ape? Yeah, yeah, James. Yeah, yeah, they did. They got they, an if they can turn and circus into an ape. They can turn you into. Do you know? So, do you know about like horsemen? They made, they actually got the actor to become a horse, and turn him into so. a, a cartoon. No, that's a cartoon. That's, All right. No, so anyway, cartoons are real. <laughs> anyway, uh, we digress. That was a side dress. Anyway, so like anyway, um, so, so they get their tao lao. And everything, so they get into another dimension. I mean, right? that is we see the nine tails from Pokemon. Oh yeah, we see Kitsune, and then uh, and well, then no, goes, people said it looked like it was from Pokemon, but it wasn't. Yeah. And then he was like, yeah. "Oh my god, bloody hell! Well, them no, birds no, are on that, fire!" No, like, no, like. <laughs> Did you get the fact that, that those giant lions? I think they were giant lions. Yeah, the giant, giant the cat big, lions. Yeah, that they were kind of like those giant, like those golden. Yeah, yeah, Lions like one of those lucky are, cats. Would be like yeah, in a Chinese restaurant. I love oh, it. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's kind of cute. It, it was rich of just like all these different creatures. Like yeah, like Narnia. I mean, yeah. I mean fucking Narnia. favorite line was like, "Bloody hell, them birds like, are on fire." It did feel oh, like Norris a ch- said it's normal. <laughs> 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 it did feel like like a children's fantasy film in yeah. a way. You know that weird like nostalgia that you get for like labyrinth stuff like that. Exactly. That's but the kind that's of vibe where, that it that's got, where it's like the movie changed, didn't it? You went from reality into fantasy very quickly when you went through that waterfall, but it it made sense. Yeah. In the context of this film, you couldn't do it like in Captain America or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everything. So they get to Tan Lao, and we're the fantastic, um, oh. unageable <laughs> Michelle Yao, <laughs> Michelle Yo, I mean, yeah. is their aunt. Oh, she's so pretty. I love Yeah, but I mean, you know, she's got to be like about 70. Or well, 60. yeah. She's old, bro. For real? I'm telling you. Oh. Michelle Yo is well, old, bro. She didn't bruv. look old. Somebody Let's look it up. A, she's old, bro. <laughs> 
Yeah. I know, man. It's she like, looks maybe like four. Like, it don't crack. It was cool to this village. And they're using bloody dragon armor. What's Skyrim? Like, dragon scales. Dragon scales. Bro. Dragon it's scales as armor and everything, you know. So they're protected. What's the name? Michelle. Michelle Yo. Y E O H. So they're protected by the great protector who is not. She's insane. 59 years old. 59? Yeah. My God. That's amazing. Anyway, so they're. So they're protected by the great protector who is not Fin Fang, whatever, fin, you know what I mean. It's not Fin Fang Voom from the comic books. Fin Fang Voom. That's it, yeah. yeah. It's not. It's, yeah. it's the great protector. It's a, it's a white dragon. It's completely different. Yeah. Um, but then they're also haunted by the dweller in darkness who is behind the wall. And then. Who is the one who is talking to the father. Yeah, and, and then I'm like sat that. there like, that's just Suicide Squad again. <laughs> you know the things coming down and attacking, and then there's one big one. I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, I'm getting like Star Eye vibes again." Star Eye vibes. It's like we've Star-O. literally gone from Speed to Fight Club to Suicide Squad, and the whole thing is Kung Fu Panda. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's mental. <laughs> but but what's great about it? What's great about it is, I mean, well, it's not really what's great about it is because like you know, Aquafina really got nothing to do until like uh, she's like, oh, we'll train you to be an archer and everything oh, like that. that was no, cute. not you. You don't get the fight. <laughs> no, but everything. that was wholesome. It was cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, anyway, oh, yeah, I'm doing something. I'm glad they did something action heavy with their character instead of just subjecting it to exactly. comic exactly. Yeah. Yes. So Dad shows up. Right, right. He 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 shows up, he and, and and and, and they're like, you are you're being you're being lied to you, by this dragon. You're being lied to. So like in that aspect, it's just like he doesn't care. Yeah. You know what that reminded me of that scene, and I I kind of hate saying it. Hobbs and Shaw. Do you know when they go to um, Hobbs and Shaw? Do you know when they go to the rocks like hometown oh. and they build all the defenses, getting ready. Um, and they're like James this to- is a thing that has happened in a lot of films where they protect the Shut villages up. no no yeah, no, no, no. It, it does but happen Hobbs in a lot of films the Fast and Furious franchise did not yeah. invent that idea yeah, yeah it does I know <laughs> it didn't but it gave James, me James we're that- trying to move on so anyway it gave me that vibe <laughs> and I'm sticking to that okay, oh, okay you stick to it so anyway um, so uh, well see now you lost me so anyway so the dad goes right he's fighting and we haven't really talked about his ring fights so, but the ring fights are amazing Right, but then he goes to the wall, right, and everything. But he knocks. So first he fights Shang Chi first. Batters okay. him out. He fights um and knocks him into the water. Yeah. All right, and then it's like you know, uh, hmm, okay, he's done, <laughs> right? And yeah. he goes to break down the wall. Yeah, because his men, he his men are just reaping havoc, and he just walks through straight through the village. I'm like, well. Yeah, of course. Hello. And he pays respects do. to the mom before he go yeah. before he goes well, up to the I thing. love that. I love that. Yeah. But then anyway, he's breaking down the walls to these little death dealing souls the soul eaters little, come out. Yeah, and that's when that's that's oh. that's when it's like, What the hell? You know, they What's just touch there? you, they got your soul. It's like, I got your soul, I got I your love soul. How, uh, like, like, oh, like, yeah, like Sam Raimi <laughs> and Evil Dead. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, We need to work together. It's like, No, we don't try to attack it. And then the guy in the mask just gets like Bro gets Kills. his soul That's okay, like Okay I think we need to work together It's like me of a Capri That's song. like a bit of a subversion Where he's like set up As this powerful character And then just I want to like yeah. What he did Like you know how well, they have can't, like can't Obviously the soul They have some kind of Enchanted arrows That's the only thing That can kill these things I like the how he like place? Modded his, his sword That was cool stopped. actually yeah. Yeah. So he could kill them That was yeah. mad yeah. Seeing them work together Was cool Well it's also It's also um, It doesn't happen often Do you know what no, I mean No so, yeah I was going to say Like that's It's a good turnaround and especially like what happens in the end and everything. Um, also, we see um, Shang Chi in the in the. He's wa- in the. He's underwater now. He's dying. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking in. dragon comes. The yeah, great where did protector. that actually come from? What? It came from. It came from underneath. That's the great protector. To be fair, I was protector. I was yeah. expecting a bit more from that scene because it's in the trailer. He faces the yeah. dragon. I was expecting like a really cool like sort of like uh, like a conversation between them. You expected yeah, like, you know more what? from a dragon. No, what? no, what? no cool. what? That's why people thought it was Fin Fang Foom from the comics, right? So Fin Fang Foom is a dragon from the comics who can talk yeah. and wears shorts. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. So like that's what Ace. people were expecting. So on the one hand, it's, I'm kind of glad they didn't do that because that is kind of really stupid, right? You know, they just had a connection and everything, and you know he was able to ride the dragon. But also too is what you probably didn't know was the dragon scales were red and white, right? Because the dragon is white, yeah. right? So that's why his sister was wearing white 
and he was wearing red. You know, like he's wearing his Shang Chi out for armor, dragon mm-hmm. armor. And she, so that white she was wearing was dragon scale as well. Yeah. So they both were able to ride the dragon and everything. You know, so it when was he, cool the final fight though with um, Shang Chi. Shang Chi and his father, yeah. because oh my god, what's so cool about that is the fact that, that first of all, you know, it turns into a Dragon Ball Z fight. Kame, <laughs> Kame, ha. Kame. I didn't pick that up until somebody else had to say it, but it was like, it was like, oh, awesome! It's very much over the top with all these like hand like, powers like, yeah. and stuff like that, like but power was, ups. It, yeah, but it still was cool because it's like I think somebody was trying to say, well, the rings themselves were all supposed to be individual powered, right? Like, like, uh, like give you invisibility or a power blast or a heat blast. That's what the rings. That would con- be very similar to the Infinity Stones, then, wouldn't it? Though? Exactly, yeah. which they, they didn't want to do. But they yeah. also were like uh, they they were also based around the Eternals as well. So they oh. they because because uh, the rings. So that's another reason where we get to the end, where it's like you know it could be like an Eternal Link. So in that fashion, is so that's what the rings were supposed to be. But it was really good, and then. When the father was convinced, well, I think when he was looking at his son doing a spin around with him, right, and everything like Fought that. Fought with his mother? Yeah. That yeah. the father, you know, kind of really gave up the rings. You yeah. know, like he sacrificed he himself them, yeah. and everything. And that was beautiful, you know, like when the dragon is going to eat the souls and everything and the father, and he takes the father and the, and the rings, um, you know, come off and go to Shanti, whatever, and stuff like that. I just thought that was amazing. But you know what? I wanted to hit this bit of the fight because we I know we skipped over a lot of fights because we got it to, but when when Shanti's mother was training him, I think this is very important. When when the father was training him and he was hitting the wood, yeah. right? You know, right? he was hitting the wood and yeah. getting all bloody. And it's like, yeah, be strong, son. You know, keep hitting the wood. But he never broke the wood, right? He could never break it and everything like that. But the mother, when the mother was training him, it's like, no, not the mother, the aunt, Michelle Yao. That's right. When Michelle Yao was training him, right, she convinced him to open his hands. Now, if you know anything about Kung Fu Karate, karate actually means empty hands. And right, and like, and judo is also a form of this whole empty hand philosophy where it's like your hands are like wings. So it's like when, when people throw punches at you, like throw a punch at me, right? You know, and you grab it. Right, so as long as your hands are open, it's much more defensive as well as offensive. So with Shang Chi, when he realized that when she was saying that to him, he became a much better fighter. That's how he was able to defeat his father, because instead of like punching like a pugilist, you fight like a you know a wushu artist or karate. It sort like of that. And links. I with just the... thought that was amazing. Sorry, I I studied kung fu. It sort of links <laughs> with the. It sort of links with the. Well, when I was Don't open it that links catalog. with the film's themes a bit as well because the film's about like embracing both your parents' legacies and stuff like that. Exactly. Obviously, he's been, spent his whole life being trained by his dad, Doing and it that moment where he also it. embraces his mother's legacy, it's sort of quite like a nice like exactly. resolution. Thank you, Connor. That's exactly what I was trying to say. So anyway, so now we're so so dad sacrificed himself. Shang Chi's got the power, right? And they uh, take on the um, the rest of the uh, soul dealers. The two dragons fight themselves. Yeah, like one of them. Cool one of them later gets pwned. This may be the best Marvel movie for fights. Yeah. I, I felt well, like there was that I mean, one this fight that I wasn't entertained with. Yeah. The but CGI th- fights at the end were kind of like average Marvel fare, I think. Yeah, but like, yeah, but it didn't go too over the top, though. I mean, yeah. like at least it didn't turn into the Hercules. Like a, where the dragons were shooting like laser fire beams out of their mouths or something like, like a, that. Maybe like know? a cool like raid redemption style finale would have been cool, where it's just Shang Chi yeah. like beating up a bunch of people at once. Like the odds are against him. That would yeah. be really cool for Marvel. I don't think they'd go there because. Honestly, like less colors, less kids are going to be entertained. But then also too is they're making him op op, aren't they? Yeah. So now that he has the rings, I you know the who rings can are stop balanced. him? What? I reckon the rings are perfectly balanced because no, no, I just meant like when he was saying like he could take on a bunch of people. Yeah. Now it's about like like people are talking about Shang Chi versus the Hulk. Who win? Shang Chi. Shang Chi because he's called the pen is the he's professor. On the is it the prof- <laughs> is it Shang Chi versus pro- Thor? Who is it? The Professor Hulk. <laughs> Thor, Professor Hulk. Hulk. It's <laughs> Professor Hulk. Professor Hulk would win um, because I feel like he's got that tactical advantage. Only Hulk's just brawn. It's like it's like Abomination versus Wong. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so, <laughs> so, so, so they win, right? And everything. So now we're into into the end where uh, Shang Chi and Katie tell oh, our, uh, our Soul Dragon. We have to stop our souls from our Soul Dragon getting taken by the other Soul Dragon. Oh yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you completely I, I, skipped I over that, the fact I? that Katie like. 
Oh yeah. Shot her arrow and her, and her mentor died. It was really oh. sad. Yeah, so Katie got to do something, as Connor said. She got to be <coughs> pro- proactive because the dragon looked like it was going to take on, you know, Shang-Chi and the sister. And she shoots the uh, the dragon, <coughs> the dweller in darkness, in the throat and everything like that. So, yeah, that happened. Anyway, so to the end. So they're telling the story to their mates again, like they did in the beginning. But they're telling everything. So they're not hiding anything. It's not like they're wearing masks and, you know what I mean? They're just like, yeah, and then this happened and that happened. And, then, and the friends are just like, this. <laughs> right. I mean, if I your mean, friend goes up like, to you and tells you that, you're just gonna be like, "Sure, All right, yeah, whatever." Shut up now. What yeah. strain of crack is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the sling ring opens. Oh, Go ahead, James. I, oh my god! When I saw that, I don't sure if anyone looked over to me, but the, a smile on my face when I saw that. Yeah, I was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What, what's happening?" Oh my god! And oh I was god, so god. glad they didn't like not just end. Like, I'm so glad they didn't just end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw nothing. I'm glad we so got so much. <laughs> so if you're not a Marvel veteran and you didn't stay for the end credits, you missed something big. Well, yes. this was the mid credits. Sequence, the mid credits. So we saw Captain Marvel, which I still stand by as a good movie, um, and Bruce Banner not as Professor Hulk but as himself in a little farm uniform. Now, looking. now, what I thought was strange yeah. is, is that he had his arm in the yeah. Side. I think that's a permanent effect from the... I would hate that it's permanent, but I mean, yeah, okay. I think it's a permanent effect from I mean, the Hulk's had his time, really. He's one of the MCU, like, beginners. He's, He's had his old. time. He doesn't need to still be, like, the Relevant. big... Well, one no, of the but the next time we see him will be in She-Hulk, right? Which oh, they're yeah. filming going to be a girl, Hulk? And everything oh, like God. that, where he gives up. So, like, the question should be is, like, how do, how is he Bruce Banner, right? So, like, um, in, in the comics... All right, he gives his cousin, who is Jennifer Walters, a blood transfusion because she's being hunted by the mob. He gives her a blood transfusion and she becomes She Hulk, right? So that probably still will be the same. But what they could do is because he gives her the blood transfusion, he loses. Right, he could be, he could, yeah, he, he would have hulkiness. to revert back to Bruce Banner, which is how he's Bruce Banner now because he's also older as well, or you know, his he hair was kind of gray, yeah. right? Yeah, and, and stuff like that. So, I just think that's just really interesting how these I mean, all tied. If together. you think about like who came in the MCU with Hulk, it's uh, like the only ones that are left are really Thor, Hawkeye, everyone else has either died or yeah. gave up, like Captain. No, America, you're right. Well, the contract's been, I feel like yeah. Hulk's time is up. Well, hopefully, is. hopefully, we have time to speculate on who the new Avengers are going to be, but either way, it's so Brie Larson. It says that it's not alien tech, it's not Chitauri yeah. tech. And um, Bruce Stuff says it's seen. not vibranium, right? And um, Wong is like, hmm. Is a beacon. How I looked through all the books. Yeah. Now, what I wanted him to do was why couldn't somebody at some point, and, and this is, again, the comic thing, why couldn't somebody at some point say, it's not from Kung Lung either, <laughs> right? Yeah. Iron Fist, you know, because it's another dimensional place. So, yeah. so and they were is, like, he was like, how long? And and how long have you? Has your dad had these rings? Like, oh, about two well, thousand years. Yeah, exactly. So. Are they setting up the Eternals? Maybe, probably. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably well, find that each ring is like the Eternals. I would say that the Eternal connection is yeah. more than likely because you got Celestials that are out in space. So what I was saying like before this was the fact that the beacon. So this is what we're talking about is the beacon is that the beacon was activated because the father turned the rings over to the son. So obviously, if he had it for tens of thousands of years, whatever, it would be like somebody else has. Somebody else is a new host. So that would obviously have to go out to whoever it came from, which would be a celestial host kind of being yeah. and everything. So one of them would be like, hmm, who's the new one? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, that's what I think. So um, last, the last credit, I just think I really want, I really want a TV show with the sister. The Ten Rings. Oh, my God. She makes changes. She's got... She got females training side by side. With that males. was nice. And, an was urban, and, 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 yeah. and, and also they're uh, uh, international as well. So it's not just all Asian. Oh, and the choppy, choppy arm guys with her as well. I want to know. Raise their fist. Thank I want to know <laughs> if she's going to be evil or use it for good. I think she's going to be great. I think she's going to be yes. walking a fine line. Yes. I think that she loves her brother now as he does her. So he would eventually have to respect what she's doing. And I think she's doing what she's doing forever herself or for the good of her people. Well, I don't know if she's concerned about her people. I think she's concerned about, like, she always had the fight club. She always had that interest in uh, mind to be her dad. Be, it could be fight club. Yeah, she I, always had that interest. I want to yeah. see more of her in it. I want to see yeah. more of what she does. 
I would love to see that. Yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely. I think it's going to be like a new basis, like sort of like how Wakanda's like a power in the MCU, sort of like a new area yeah. to yes. do things like, because maybe we could get like more than one thing set in Wakanda. Like, Well, also, can I just wrap this? We know that Vincent Van- D'Onofrio's coming. Oh, is he? As Kingpin? Yeah, we know that's Ooh. happening. That's, that's, right? that's so great. I never we knew never that. Had, we, well, um, we never had the mafia or the magi or any representation of evil, really, in our Marvel f- MCU. So if he's coming, you know, maybe the Ten Rings is a rival to that. So it's mm. like... They get know, them into Devil's Kitchen. Well... You know what I mean? That'd that'd be great. So anyway, even though we're getting a signal, I would love to just hear just really quickly, like, you know, we know Avengers 5 will be coming. We know that a lot of the old dogs are gone, as as Connor just said. And we know that Shang-Chi is an Avenger. And along with probably Doctor Strange. And Spider-Man. And Spider-Man. Well, well, Spider-Man, the the contract is up. So anybody speculation on the Avengers? Who's going to be next? Uh, Eternals won't be in the Avengers, I don't think. I think they're going to have, like the Guardians of the Galaxy, oh, well, they're going to be on their own for a bit. Now, hold on. If you don't want to read the comics, um, what's her name? Cersei, uh, 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 Gemma Chan, and Black Knight are Avengers. So what about like, Moon Knight? Where does he come in? Well, well, Moon Knight. Well, Moon Knight is coming. Yes, right. He he's yeah. also an Avenger. Yeah, Oscar Isaac. But yeah. but what I'm just trying to say is is that what um, Gemma Chan and um, Black Knight they could leave the Eternals movie and then join the Avengers. So obviously Captain America. Yeah. He's old, Anthony isn't he? Right? Yeah. No, no. Anthony oh, wait. He's, oh, yeah. Oh, that will, that, that, that will that's, that's, that's definitely. Yeah. That's definitely. Yeah. And that that's movie's going to be a fucking amazing. I can already yeah. tell. So yeah. She-Hulk will right. be right. one of them, surely. She-Hulk, why the hell not? If you, you know, you. I mean, like, you know, I mean, you probably can't, I don't know, for some reason, I don't know if Bruce is deep-powered. What'd you say, Aunt Mom? Ooh, yeah, what Ant-Man? about his daughter? Well, no. Would she no, no, get a no, no, power? No, no. That's Young Avengers. Avengers. That's Young Avengers. Avengers. Oh, that's Avengers. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's fine like lines. Are they actually yeah. doing a Young Avengers? Yep. Oh, also, cool. they're going to do the Dark Avengers with um, Red Hulk with... Uh, that was what's cool. With uh, the, the, the Jessica, Jenny Lewis Dreyfus. Do you know the one who owns the raft? The raft prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah. the other yes. Captain America, the John John Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, um, obviously, there's going to be the Hawkeye series. Be the like oh, yeah, the yeah, sister. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, Echo, some Black Widow's sister. Um, yeah. yeah, also Echo uh, uh, is coming as well. The Echo's getting her own series. Anyway, that was me geeking out. I just was thinking it's just that it's just fantastic that we could speculate and, and, and imagine. I, I can't we wait could for start King- to see the formulation of the new. I um, can't wait for Kingpin. Yeah, well, the thing about it is, is that, oh, let me just say this. Uh, far from, what is it? No Way Home. No Way Home. Somebody came out on Reddit or whatever and said that that's not Matt Murdock in a it's white not, shirt. It's, you can see in the IMAX trailer. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Somebody yeah. came out, that's not Matt Murdock, but that doesn't mean Matt Murdock is not in the movie because he is. Reddit's just dodgy for but, facts. But though. someone said that Matt Murdock is in She-Hulk with the yellow Daredevil outfit. Oh, cool. Mm. And stuff like that. So that would be cool, too. But anyway, so, I mean, you know, just dropping science. This is my movie squad. <laughs> I have been a James Jump fellow tape have deck. Have you? Re- fellow tape deck reviews for some cool events, cool reviews, and cool whatever. I'm plugging myself. This has been Connor Bailey. You Thank you very much for joining well, us, I want to plug Bailey. anything. Thank you. He wants, to, he wants to plug Fire Pit Productions and this new No, sorry, it's Fire pr- pr- Pit. I said Pit... Not- Anyway, Sinead. No, you didn't get the job. Thank you for joining uh, us on this uh, hot day, Sinead. I know. I've been Sinead Renee and I've been dehydrated and really obsessed. Yeah, Uh, she's uh, not sweating for just because she likes to sweat. (laughs) (laughs) It's not a hobby. I'm actually tired and and sweaty. Yeah. Um, Subscribe. And I'm Chase. (laughs) Like and subscribe, buddy. Tell us what you want to do. Ring the bell. Tell us what you want to do. Just give us some suggestions. Any guests? And and please convince uh, James that we like our mainstream films. We like our old films, but we don't like our like underground weird weird (laughs) chicken pig films. Put your your theories in the comments below. I want to. I want to know. I want to hear you geek out, guys. Exactly. Who's going to be in the next Avengers? So until then. We will be we will return like oh, they always say that. The movie squad will return. <laughs> movie squad out.